OK, in this example, we need to write 6 minus 3x minus x squared in completed square form. The difference here from the last example is that we've got a negative x squared term. So first of all, I'd just like to reorder the terms in our original quadratic. I'd like to write the x squared term first. So minus x squared minus 3x plus 6. Now that's an entirely optional step. It might just help you see the next step a bit more clearly though. So now I'm going to again introduce some square brackets, but I'm going to factorize out a negative 1. I'll just write that as a minus sign. So minus 1 times x squared just gives me x squared, and minus 1 times minus 3x gives me positive 3x. I'm not touching the third term yet, I'm just leaving that as plus 6. Now that I've done that, I'm going to complete the square inside the square brackets. So I've got x squared plus 3x, that gives me x plus 3 over 2, all squared and then subtract the bit we don't want, 3 over 2 squared is 9 over 4, and then leave the plus 6 on the outside. Next, we expand out the square brackets by multiplying by negative 1. That gives me minus x plus 3 over 2 all squared. Then we're doing negative 1 times negative 9 over 4, gives me positive 9 over 4. We can rewrite 6 as a fraction out of 4, that would be 24 over 4. Finally, we're going to simplify. However, as this term is negative and this term is positive, it's conventional to write the positive term first. 9 over 4 plus 24 over 4 gives me 33 over 4. And then I'll leave the other term as it is. It's not wrong if you reorder the terms, but it just looks nicer with the positive term at the front. OK, here's one for you to have a go at for yourself then. Pause the video and then come back and check your solution against mine. Welcome back, here's my solution. If you got it correct, well done, move on to the next part of the lesson. Otherwise, I'll go through my solution now. Liking the example, I'll start by reordering the terms. So we have minus y squared plus 5y plus 9. Next, I'll factorise a minus 1 outside of the square brackets, only from the first two terms though. That gives me y squared minus 5y. Next, we complete the square for y squared minus 5y. Half of 5 is 5 over 2, so we get y minus 5 over 2, all squared. 5 over 2 squared is 25 over 4, so we have minus 25 over 4. Next, we'll multiply out the square brackets. We've got a minus times a minus, so we end up with plus 25 over 4. And then 9 can be written as 36 over 4. As in the last example, we have a positive term which we can move to the front. 25 over 4 plus 36 over 4 gives me 61 over 4. And that's our answer. 